Hello guys, HG Gaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download LSPDFR. So you will have to open up your browser, go to lcpdfr.com, Once the site loads up, highlight over the mods tab on the top and then click LSPDFR which should be right next to the downloads. Scroll down until you see the LSPD first response tab. Wait for the box to load up and then click it. Now just go ahead and scroll down until you see the download this file tab. Go ahead and click it and then you should click agree and download. Now I do recommend downloading the alternate one, not the manual one, but it is your choice. I'm going to do the alternate one. I already have it so I'm not going to download it again. So I'll go ahead and go to my downloads and I also will uninstall the LSPDFR file that I have right now, just to show you guys that uh, I am installing it from scratch. And it is uninstalled, so once you have the zip file, just go ahead and click, double click it, and then it should pop up with the setup. So once that pops up, just go ahead and click OK, click Next, click I Agree, and then click Next. Now you have to find your file location of your GTA 5. So if you do have the non-Steam version, it would probably be in your program files. If you have the Steam version, it would be in your common area, which is the your C drive, program files, and then Steam, Steam apps, and then common, and then find your GTA 5 folder. Then go ahead and make sure the launch configuration is checked and click finish and it should open this up. So click next, click, click show license, wait for the timer to finish up and then click accept. Click do it for me. You can do show settings but I just do the do it for me. So you can click preload all models, I don't really do that, I usually set the call out multiplier to about 350, you can keep it to 250 if you want to, but I don't recommend going to like a thousand, that's going to be way too much. So as you see it is installed, now to actually make it actually work you will need a rage plugin hook or rage hook plugin. So all you have to do is go open your browser, go to rageplugin.hook.net. Go to the Downloads tab. Go click Rachel Plugin Open Alpha 0.45. This is the newest one that was created 10 days ago. So I already have my Rachel Plugin, so I am not going to download it again. So. I do have the newest one as I see it does say 0 0.45. So just double click it and then find the exe file which should be right there. Then click extract all and then find your GTA 5 folder. As I did say before you should have it already open. 
so there's no reason to say it again. And then click select order and then click extract when you're done. And it should look like that if you have a Steam version. So I already have it in there so I'm going to replace all the 21 files. And there you go. It should be right there. So to make it actually work you will have to double click Rage Hook, Rage Hook Plugin. And then it will give you a sort of setup to actually get it working. So make sure you click yes. Wait for the timer to go down. And then click accept. So if it does if one of those have an X on it, it should say open Chrome to find the download for it or download right there and now. So if it does show that then I would recommend doing that now. So you can't mess with the console key. I usually set it to F5 because I have trainers that are set to F4. And make sure if you have any plugins make sure you have those selected. And then you can mess with the advanced settings game settings if you want to but I don't recommend messing with those. If you're done just click OK. And then it should be done so it should be started launching and I'll see you guys in game. Alright, so now that we are back in our GTA 5 game, I'm going to use my control panel, which is F5 for me, and I'm going to say Force Duty. You can say Force Duty if you don't feel like going to the station. Now if you do want to go to the station, it is marked as a, a police badge on your map. So if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. You can also spawn vehicles with a control panel as well, which I will do in a second. But first, I am going to change the look of my character because it does not do that when you force duty. Citizens reporting a motor vehicle and here we go. So we are a cop. So now we're going to have, go ahead and spawn our vehicle. I do have a few mods. I don't have too much, but I will install some other ones for other LSPDFR videos. So I do did use this one in my last video, and I'm actually going to use my FBI cart, or the unmarked slick top FBI. It's basically the same thing as the other one, just it's unmarked. So let's go ahead and get in and pull over somebody. So once you find somebody, all you have to do is just go right behind them, and then you have to click shift. I don't believe you need your lights on when doing this, I don't think so, but you can if you want to. But it helps to slow them down first so they know you're behind them. You could also, if you're arresting somebody, hold the gun out at somebody and hold E and then they should get arrested. So you can honk the horn to make them move into a different location if they're not parked in a correct area that you don't want them to park at. So I'm going to get out and I'm going to get a gun because I don't have I only have that carbine rifle, so I will need a new gun. So all I have to do is click E to begin speaking and then click continue. Right. So what we're going to do is ask for ID. And we're going to head back in our vehicle and do a vehicle check. Looks like your name is Kelly Barbera, I think. I don't know if I'm saying that correct. But let's just go ahead and type it in. To open the control panel, you click E at a stop. So it looks like the subject check came back clean. So let's go ahead and go back to her car. Click continue. Click, we're going to actually issue a citation of $5,000, that's the most you can actually go to.
Alright, let's go ahead and uh, head back into our vehicle. Alright, so the next thing that we will be doing is showing the vehicle interaction menu. So to click that, all you have to do is click N. So you have the always on option to have your engine on if you choose to. So basically that's what it's like. You know, but also you can't mess with the lights. So if you just want your lights on no siren, just click select lights. If you want it off all the time, you could just select off. I think it does go off all, all the time. When you click E, I'm not quite sure. So you can't mess with the interaction to turn off your calls if you want to, but the next one we will do is place backup. You can click B to actually get to this menu. You could select news, you could select helicopter, you could select a lot of other things. EMS as well. So if this, if this tutorial did help you out, please leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later.